Alright, so, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to check out the production line. We've sawn the raw material, we've sawn the finished good. This is where magic happens, so let's check it out. Alright, so this is the QC. So how do you know which order, how much you've done, how much you've consumed? So basically every every shift, they will have to write how many bags that they have uh, they have produced. Uh. So these are the okay, okay right. goods, right? The rejects in the here? The rejects are here. Yeah. But do you weigh your rejects? No, no, not at the moment. You count your rejects? Production-wise, no, but QC, when they QC when they see the that's rejects, right, they find the problem yeah. and then they will count how many okay. were being rejected. So correct me wrong, you know how many orders, you just keep making it until you, until you reach the order, the quantity. Correct, correct. So we don't know how much we lose. Yeah, we don't know how much material uh, wastage in a way, lah, you know, because uh, production, they will also reject ma. Right, we all right. Don't know what, but we don't know how much were being rejected. Okay, so you only find out, when would you find out how many rejected, like how long later? Mm, my QC will do line checking every two hours. Okay, so on the same day? La. Yes. yes, on the same day. But you won't know the, the, the impact in terms of your cost, all that, much later? La. Yeah, much later. Okay, yeah. Okay. Looking at the video, um, in case some of you are not very sure what's happening, let me just summarize uh, some of the new findings uh, during the tour with Jessica. All right. So their production is very simple. They have a uh, injection molding machine where on the left hand side you have the input of the uh, raw material. Uh, for simplicity, I will call it premix. On the right hand side is the output, which is your finished good. Uh, and to break it down further, the output has two types of material. One is the finished good and the second one are the rejected items based on uh, failed quality tests. Okay, and on the left hand side is the premix. Okay. So what Jessica or Penra is trying to achieve is to, uh, they need data to identify what is the cost of production or in short, the direct finished goods cost. Right, so finished good costs consists of a few components. The first one is uh, raw material costs. Um, it also includes direct labor costs, uh, production supplies. So for, for their case, uh, maybe they have to add some coloring or, or they may have to add uh, some sort of QC uh, uh, supplies uh, or glues or, or whatever. Right, and uh, fuel or the power consumption. Uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, during this uh, this session with Penrite, our immediate goal is to look at raw material costs as a starting point. Um, everything else can be included in the future, um, but it's also to identify if the other costs are significant, and I'm sure they are. But to 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 keep uh, maintaining our focus, uh, raw material costs it is. So this is what I found and this is something that uh, I've taken note, right? So we have the input and we have the output. In order to find the direct raw material cost, uh, the simple calculation is that the input cost, or in, in this case the premix, is approximately the same as the output cost. Now, um, they have the quantity of the finished goods and uh, they also can calculate the quantity of the rejects. But what they don't have is they don't have the quantity of the input or the premix into the machine uh, and this is where the problem lies so do take note and this is something to my surprise as well but they Jessica has already mentioned that they don't have the data that they need and this might be the missing puzzle that they need to solve their problem okay so this is I remember this is where you mix the uh... Right, this is all the raw before they dump it in, right? Yeah, correct. But they, you're mixing everything in pallet form, right? Uh, what do you mean pallet form? Uh, as in, sorry, not pallet, um, uh, small little yeah, bearing. Yeah, material part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah what part. do you call it? Uh, resin. Resin, okay. Yeah, okay. resin. Right. So, um, colors, it comes with master batch or powder form. Right. Right. Uh, so then we also mix 
crush materials. Okay. Yeah. So crush are the recycles, ah. Uh? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is where your old rejects can be reused, ah. Uh? Yep. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 Again, you don't keep track of what goes in and out, ah. Uh? Uh, we do lah. We do have records, ah. Uh? Pen and paper, lah. Uh? Yeah. Okay. In is this is this a area that you want to look at eventually? Ah uh, yes, definitely. High high in priority or mid mid priority? Uh, or low priority? Uh, Okay, cool, because cool. what goes in, it, 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 it will affect the whole sure, production, sure. right? Yeah, so yeah. I would say it's neat, okay. uh, but it's not the top priority. Okay. Uh, right. Need to know what is the cost of the products right. roughly first in okay. order to do more right. investigation and all. Like. But, but right now, you overall p &L, you kind of know what's happening, but in terms of production costs, it's really By a great batch, area. No idea at all? At all? Yeah, yeah. by that, no idea at all.